Yeah, no, we're um, we're actually at a turning point where if people don't get engaged and stop what Health Canada is doing, we will lose our natural health products, like most of the effective ones, and we'll lose those practitioners that we rely on, like our homeopathic doctors and our naturopathic doctors. And, you know, understand we, we do have professional lines of products, but they're licensed under the same regula regulations called the natural health product regulations. And what Health Canada is doing is saying, well, we don't want natural health products regulated the way they are now. We want them to be regulated the exact same way as our chemical over-the-counter drugs. <clears throat> we are going to lose all of the products. We're still going to have vitamins on the shelves. We're still going to have minerals on the shelves. We're still going to have some products on the shelves, but we're not going to have anything like we have access to now. <clears throat> and they don't want products for the types of conditions for which we would seek the advice of a, of a healthcare practitioner licensed by a province. And they've expl explicitly told us this when they marched across the country. They're telling us that, that you cannot get a license for products for which you would seek the advice of a healthcare practitioner. Well, if you can't get licensed anymore for products for which these practitioners used to treat us with, they're not going to have any products. I mean, it's as simple as that. This is part of a harmonization internationally with, you know, kind of the World Health Organization and the whole bit. So this is kind of the end game to move us into a situation where we have no choice but to go to the medical doctor and get chemical pharmaceutical drugs. And this has been a long time in the works. It's just kind of coming to a head now. What Health Canada did is they basically tricked us by tucking into the budget bill where no one expects there to be changes to the regulation of natural health products. They tucked in, it was sections 500 to 504 changes that what the effect of those changes are is they impose, they give Health Canada new powers over natural health products, but most significantly, they increase the fine structure. So prior to June 22nd, the maximum fine concerning the natural health products. So let's say you were sharing truthful health information, which many companies and many practitioners do, um, although Health Canada doesn't want us doing that. <clears throat> Or let's say, you know, you, you violated any part of the act or regulations. So you might be selling a product without a license. The maximum fine you were facing was $5,000 per offense. Well, under before July 22nd, you might be charged with one offense for the entire month and your maximum fine is $5,000. Well, now the maximum fine is $5 million for every single day you're a non-compliant. So you run a month ad that's, you know, 5 million times 30. Your viewers should know that Canada and several other countries have been involved in amending the international health regulations at the World Health Organization in some amazing way. So there was text in there that would give individuals rights over their own body and, and personal sovereignty. That type of language is being taken out and they're coming up with a One Health initiative where animals have the same rights as humans and bacteria has the same right as humans and plants have the same right as humans. But they're negotiating, they're not calling it a treaty, but they're negotiating what will be a, a binding agreement so that if the World Health Organization declares a pandemic, and remember they declared a pandemic not long ago on monkeypox and Canada just ignored it because we didn't view monkeypox as something that we needed to be concerned with. But after this agreement, if it goes through, it, which really is a treaty, they're not calling a treaty, then if the World Health Organization declares a pandemic, as they recently did over monkeypox, then Canada would lose its sovereignty. Canada would lose its right to decide how to handle this pandemic. We've never faced such an attack on our natural health products as we're facing with this. They're literally going to impose chemical drug style regulations you know, right down to requiring the double-blind clinical trials and the like. Well, it might be helpful for your, your viewers to know that you are 14 times more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to be killed by a natural health product. There's a whole bunch of things that are happening that collectively are going to just ruin the industry. So the one is, is cost recovery. So right now, Health Canada is, is saying that they're going to impose 
the fees that they charge the chemical drugs companies for, you know, getting site licenses and product licenses. So if you're manufacturing me, you have to pay like 30 grand a year, just eat for each building that you manufacture in, for example, like the fees are quite large just for the right to manufacture or, you know, warehouse or label. So, and then also there's product license fees, even yearly ones after you've gotten through the approval process. So they're going to post these fees on us. Well, that's going to drive some of the companies out of business and then the products will be gone. So Health Canada is saying we're going to use these fees that we're collecting to create a whole new group of Health Canada police to go and make sure that you're complying and to censor truthful health information. We're then going to, when we fully harmonize and cannot use traditional use evidence anymore to, to get a license, well, all those products are going to be gone that currently rely on traditional use evidence. And a lot of those, especially, you know, for traditional Chinese practitioners and herbalists, that's most of their products. The biggest effect is going to be on our healthcare practitioners who no longer will have these products and who no longer will be able to truthfully advertise about the products that remain. I'm, I work with an organization, it's a, a federally incorporated nonprofit called the Natural Health Product Protection Association. So the website is www.nhppa.org. Um, we have a contact button there and we'd like you to subscribe to our newsletter so that you know when we send that out, um, you know what's going on. But we do have a campaign right now, a letter writing campaign and meet your MP campaign to be getting you to educate the MPs and letting them know you're upset about this and want changes. But we're going to have campaign after campaign after campaign. 